Not all scholars, Vessel and Sleep, they have this hunting dynamic, right? They they both play the predator and prey. They both bring good and evil to the relationship. So when we read the phrase, I am hunting something, and in turn, that same thing is hunting me. In my opinion, that implies a reciprocal pursuit. It indicates this constant back and forth struggle. So this, this conflict. And uh, it was amazing to see the poster from the teeth of God. Not only that, but the fact that they wiped their social media. So they're afresh, they're starting from scratch. We can try and find some metaphors here, suggesting the tension between uh, opposing forces. In my opinion, it's similar to the archetype of the shadow by Carl Jung, you know, when he says the beholder, the void beyond. All these terms, they evoke the sense of mystery, the sense of the unknown. It might imply that there is an observing entity, sleep, the audience, and the void beyond, the mask is hiding, but then the mask is also reaching for something vast, something enigmatic and beyond comprehension. It creates this image of elusive, formidable adversary. The void can represent the fact that Vessel is the prophet, and he sings and he recites, but he can only hear his voice. He can only project where he creates art and he shares with the abyss, with the world. It's an interaction between the voice, the teeth, and the void beyond. The line between that border, that mediator. So it's, in my opinion, the figure of the mediator between the hunter, the mask, and the hunted. And it's funny because we can only see the teeth, right? That's the only human aspect that we see. Everything else is sleep in a way. So it's the connection between the opposing forces. That's why it's the line that divides the human from the God. So the teeth of God, which has been chosen as the name of the 2024 U.S. tour, it, it describes this divine element. It's a statement. Teeth are often associated with power. I mean, the power to bite, the power to attack, and the power to defend. So it's both being a predator and attacking and also being prey and defending yourself. So it's your weapon and you're responsible when you talk, you create phonetic sounds, the phonemes, the consonants mostly, you know, the stops, the bilabial, everything using your teeth, right, inner dandel. So it might suggest that he is the instrument. He's a powerful force. There is this ongoing conflict in his mind, very ingenious here. The fact that the poster features this artwork, which is a crab. And the choice, obviously, is not completely, let's say, random. If you look at, at the night sky, you see the crab constellation, right? Cancer. And it's actually facing Leo. You have that interaction in the sky, in the night sky, juxtaposed facing one another. In Chokehold, he says, it was no accident. They have this crab-like shape, abstract shape for the tour. Well, I think it's because it's to show people that it's a way for them to live in various environments, on land and in the sea, right? Uh, this place will become your tomb. It was the ocean. Eden is the land. So they've conquered and they've morphed because the crab also morphs, right? It's the behavior of this transformation. So the sky above, the earth below. When you watch the music videos, you know, Vessel is most of the time he's crawling, right? I mean, crawling on the shore uh, or crawling on Kolkata, crawling on Thread the Needle. The crab means that he can shed the shell, right? He's got a shell and now he's going to grow a bigger one. So just like his costume there or his identity with the cloak and everything, it's a shell, right? It's protection. And it's amazing because it lives in the dirt. It feeds off filth, I mean, the crab. And the same with the bug for the Nazareth video. I mean, it's always these things that are related to decay, but all of a sudden these things can morph. Like the bug can become a butterfly or the crab can morph into something bigger. So it's literally using the word cancer uh, and, and thinking about the Greek meaning, it's related to encircling, it's related to the circle. So it's actually giving you the limits, the lines, right, that you can act. So, like I said, you know, you have 
the constellation of Cancer in the sky. It's also related to the zodiac sign. It's a water sign linking it to this place will become your tomb. And it, it's got a connection like in mythology with the moon. So you have the lunar qualities linking it to Eden. So change, growth, protection, the tides, you know, it's all about the movement. All these elements, they're there. And that's the genius aspect of Sleep Token. It's the fact that they're not only, they don't care about promoting themselves and telling people all the details. They just come up with the shapes, with the abstracts, with the abstractions, with the songs, the lyrics, and they let these symbols be interpreted within this cloud of possibilities. So it, it's for us to navigate our own ebb and flow, right? We can draw parallels. If you want to draw parallels to Christ's humility, his willingness to serve, the crab will become a symbol for charity and mostly for self-sacrifice because the guy is there inside the mask, right? It's a self-sacrifice. It's the story in Nazareth and other lyrics that you might read. In a way, my conclusion is just that the teeth of God celebrates this emotional defense. It celebrates the cycle, you know, it's the natural process of nature emotional healing, life. It's a fresh start. Uh, they don't have any pictures now, and they want to show us that they are probably going to focus on themes of renewal, spiritual journey, protection, challenges, but mostly emotional healing, based, obviously, on the trilogy that's been lived, right? I mean, send downing. This place will become your tomb and take me back to Eden. That does it for me, metal scholars. I hope that this was enticing and appealing. Please let me know. What's your opinion? What do you think about it? Because that's what really gets me, you know? The signs, the symbols that this band creates. And through this creativity, we get so much and we can derive because they say very little. <laughs> they rarely enunciate anything. It's mostly coming from the fans. We should respect that because music is what music does. And I'm signing out. I'll see you soon. Bye now.